Okay, what I do is um, uh, I stop the radio and because um, this this um, app has two modes. One is the drive mode. One is the um, uh, handheld mode, which is when it's disconnected. Mm -hmm. So um, when the phone's first paired with the device with the radio, it will you know automatically be launched, and uh, it will switch to the uh, the drive mode, and then. Working. The drive mode is a little bit more limited. No, the drive mode has all the features that's um, uh, normally it's not available in the handheld mode. Oh, gotcha. So um, drive mode actually has this five um, uh, um, main features. Uh, it's called this is um, what we call the eco eco drive, which um, works 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 with the with the radio detects. Uh, what the speed limit is, and um, I want to show you whether if you uh, drive over the speed limit or uh, on the speed. Like say, if it's over the speed limit, it will show you, give you the indications as um, you know, give you the red. Otherwise, you're within the speed limit. Uh, when the car is moving, it detects the, the speed. So other features is such as uh, the fuel consumption, and if you drive uh, light on the on the gas. It will give you the the greens and uh, show you um, you know eco friendly. Otherwise, give you less trees. And if you're really really heavy on the gas, and give you the deserts. So those are the um, what we call the uh, eco drive um, uh, section. And uh, also the the phones, the apps can be navigated such as like a just swipe swipe, give you the different. Um, sections this is the main feature of the of the app which is uh, navigation and that just give you you can enter the address um, this this entering address only um, uh, it's uh, available or enabled while your car is parked when you start driving this this feature is disabled it's for uh, driver distraction purpose uh, while you're driving you can just do search um, uh, for restaurants, uh, fuels, um, uh, different um, categories like the smart dealership, um, bank ATMs, and uh, um, hotels, airports, things like that. So those are the, the categories you can search. Because the devices have a voice option, uh, would that be something that um, the app can take advantage of in the future so that when you're driving you can still use voice instead yeah. of having to have no options at all? Yeah, that's that's exactly the, the feature that we're, we're working on the next release. Okay. So that's, that's um, uh, we have a plan that we'll, we're uh, um, uh, plan to have this voice activation and the, or voice search in our um, uh, uh, fourth quarter release. Okay. And that, that's going to be available both on iOS and Android? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So that's that. And then um, uh, also the if you want to uh, navigate through the main menu, you can do that too. So this is like say music. Um, music, what we have. It's um, the radio control, so you can control the radio since since the phone it's right in front of the radio. It's hard to touch the panels behind there. So we we, we do that. So here is like a, the presets. You can select a presets of the of the radio stations that you um, pre-programmed, or you can just tune into the next um, stations. And then you like this one, and then you can you can set the presets by selecting, you know, press hold on one of these. That's, so uh, this is basically what you would get in an infotainment center, except you're, it's on your device. Uh, yes. So this since this um, entry model only has a basic radio, it doesn't have a head units. Mm -hmm. So we provided an app that's give you a pretty much a full set of um, infotainment. As you can see, the navigation, the the you can play my music, which is your iPod music, iPhone music, and then we have uh, what we call the internet radio, which is um, uh, streaming over the internet. It's like a personal radio that's uh, uh, provided called Alpeo. It's very similar to like a Pandora that you can you can play the, the personal radio. Now these these are 
these options that are limited within the app only limits the options within the app. You still have functionalities such as text, web browser, email. Can you exit the app while you're driving and have access to your other apps within your device? Uh, on this device, basically, you can you can use any of the app that you download from the uh, the, the app store. Okay. Um, uh, it's basically this, the app, or in within our app, we have those uh, five major functions. Okay. But uh, if you want to use a browser and uh, um, all the other app, you just close our app, and then you can use. That's you know, it's out of our control. Okay. Basically. Now, now does this app run in the background? So if you've got navigation going and you exit. Um, or you bring up another app. Does it continue to give you navigation? Uh, in the yes. Background? Yes. So, so the the way it works is, you can you can start navigation. For instance, give you example, uh, you search um, for a few stations. Uh, let's see. Okay. So those are the search results. If you if you navigate to a. To a gas station, and then you can you can go do other stuff by, you know, let's say while the current is navigating, and that you want to play with the music, um, um, or call your um, uh, you know uh, friends, make a make a make phone calls, and uh, you can do that. So that's basically the navigation is going in the background. Okay. And then if you want, if you want to use other app outside of our app, um, you can always, you know, minimize the app and go do your browsing. But okay. that's not typically. It's we don't. So we, if I did this and then I'm sorry, go ahead. Yeah, if you want to go use the browser mm -hmm. uh, or switch the phone to the browser, you can you can do that. And I can come back and I should expect this to keep running. Yes. And then from within here, I should be able to go back to nav, and my nav that we just did should, in theory, come up. Yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll be still, uh, still going. Still so while you're using that app, the voice guidance is still going on. You can you can still hear the turn by turn okay. directions of the of our navigation while you're doing others. And who is smart using for the nav on the back end? Uh, it's um, the the nav navigation engine. We work with a company called uh, Scopular. It's a it's a company that's um, in uh, in Europe, and currently it's it's part of the um, U.S. company uh, called the Telenav. Okay, we know Telenav. Yeah. So they 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 just recently purchased uh, or purchased the the um, Scopular uh, mm -hmm. company. And the the map actually it's it's used by um, uh, TomTom. Okay. So it's provided by TomTom. Excellent. Is there anything else that you can show us? Um, so these are the uh, the what we call the drive mode. Mm -hmm. uh, but the, once uh, once the phone once the um, uh, car is stopped. Um, well, another feature we I want to show you it's it's a uh, it's what we call the smart uh, crowdsource park. Okay. So these are the, all the um, smart spots. It's provided by the um, uh, smart communities. They find a smart spot, uh, uh, parking spots. It's small enough just for um, uh, a smart car. So we share that. So for instance, in Portland, and uh, you can see this is a parking spot that's um, submitted by the smart user. You can see it's it's a small spot that's um, suited for um, a smart car parkings. So um, so user can search for that uh, parking spot in the in the, in the crowded city and the very difficult parking uh, find a parking spot. So then you can navigate to there and uh, and it shows you where uh, on the map and then you can say let's say if this is multiple then you can say uh, navigate to there it will guide you to that parking spot so um, uh, so that's what we call the in the in the drive mode um, once the car is parked once you stopped you turn the radio off 
the car will switch to what we call the handheld mode. In the handheld mode, um, what you can do is you can see, um, give you trip history. So it just shows you where the, um, let's say the, the previous um, driving records, uh, how well you did in the different categories. Like say, if you how, how what's the percentage of of the time you drive over the speed limit, or you're within were you within the speed limit, and how well you did it with the with the fuels, um, so on and so forth. Um, the next feature is, let's say you parked, uh, it remembers where you parked, so um, you take the phone, you walk away, and uh, um, it will show you uh, where the car is parked, and then you can um, guide you back in case you forget where you parked. So that will actually send you to, um, to Google Map and um, uh, guide you to um, where the park, the spot is. So that's like a walking route. That looks like Apple Map. This or is a, yeah. Define, I mean, can I mean, you define yeah. Google Map. I mean, the you Apple Map. Which one you want? Okay, but it's, it's default to Apple Map. Yeah. Okay. So it's the Apple Map guide you back to where you uh, park the car. So that's um, uh, uh, what what we call the um, my parking. And then also, if you if you see this parking. Uh, it, the spot you, you parked it's a suitable for uh, smart community mm -hmm. you can you can submit this um, you can submit this um, this location let's say you take the car take mm -hmm. the phone out um, uh, so you like the like the place so you you take the take the photo of of this spot and then you can um, write a few notes and mm -hmm. say whether there's a, a restriction or not uh, you write it says don't park here between hour of of um, 9 to mm -hmm. 12 and then you can say send that will um, save this send this spot to our server and mm -hmm. that spot will be shared with other um, uh, smart drivers. Now, does smart do any vetting of these spots before it gets posted? Yes. To validate yes, the validity do. of the spot. Yeah, we review all the spots um, submitted to the to us. Uh, make sure it's valid, and also because um, all these um, spots, we require them to submit a including a picture of okay. parking space. So we just the parking space or with the smart car in no, the just parking space. Could be just parking space. Okay. Parking space with or without car. Gotcha. And then we review all the uh, submissions, mm -hmm. make sure the the picture it's you know decent and uh, no you know weird stuff yes. going on. And also we we'll make sure um, for privacy reasons we if if the car has like say license plate we we blur them out. If like say face we blur them out. Gotcha. So that's for privacy. And the contributor um, contributing to the community, do they get points or anything um, within the community? Um, that's the feature we 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 think we we're gonna uh, do that. Uh, currently, it basically has a a log says how many uh, spots mm -hmm. have submitted. Uh, and, and the part of the um, uh, profile that's right that now is right now it's online, online. Correct. So we will make a game. We have a plan to um, gamify mm -hmm. the the app. So for instance, um, the scores um, who will show, you know, who's the leader in the community with uh, with with the highest scores, right. things like that. Right. We can we can make make a game. Out. That's relatively easy to. Be to, to be done. Yeah, but there's a concern of, um, you know, what we call the uh, privacy, but because when you collecting a lot of uh, some of the uh, information from the from the uh, user, mm -hmm. then we have to deal with uh, that type of uh, issues. Right, right. So. All right. Thank you so much for your time. Sure. You're welcome. <laughs>